Hello Leo and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin and today we're going to be doing your messages from the universe from spirit message from the tarot reading what you need to know right now. So we'll find out what's going on a little bit about how you're feeling. We'll get some advice. We'll get some oracle cards. At the end of the reading we'll get a yes or no question. So if you have a yes or no question send the question my way. We'll get an answer at the end for you. So Leo let's see what the cards want to say to you. I also want to say that it's a general reading, so not all of it will resonate. Take what it does, leave what doesn't. I also want to say thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for liking. I appreciate all the support. There's a lot more cards here than I wanted, but I'm being told to take them. So we're going to do that. So we have all these cards, so we'll see <laughs> what the advice is. This looks like you're going through quite the story here, Leo, so we'll find out. At the moment, let's get from the bottom of the deck. Okay, so at the moment, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Five of Swords. So you're a little exhausted at the moment. You're trying to walk away from something. It could be this Knight of Cups, so it could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you're trying to walk away from, or you're just trying to stop fighting with this person. Maybe you're just exhausted of fighting with this person. Um, yeah, you're just exhausted right now, Leo. So whatever the situation is for you, whether you want to walk away or whether you just want to stop, you're pretty tired right now. But the Seven of Pentacles also means that it wants you to keep going. It doesn't generally want you to give up. This is a card that you've been doing a lot of work. You're, you're going to see the fruit of your labor soon, just not yet. So for those of you where this is not love, this isn't, a, uh, it could be, you know, um, a business because there's also pentacles here. So it could be a friendship, a business, a relationship, whatever it is. You're pretty tired, Leo, and you either want to squash it or walk away. Let's find out. So we have, first we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Devil, the Eight of Wands. We'll go through those ones in a moment. So you're feeling pretty stuck. We see that. You're pretty, pretty wounded. But again, just like the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you're guarded, you're exhausted, but both of these cards are representative of keep going because you're almost there. It's telling you not to give up. This new beginning is here. This person's giving their, they're putting it out to you. They're giving their, their pentacle. They're giving you their heart, their business, their coin, whatever the situation is. But, and there's a, like, there's a lot of communication and a lot of forward movement, but you're bound. Something is toxic about this person. Something's toxic about you. Maybe you're overthinking, overanalyzing. You're being bound. Something is holding you back and you don't know how to go forward. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling tired. You're feeling exhausted. So... You're not sure if you want to walk away. So we have the Page of Swords and we have the Queen of Cups. So yeah, you could definitely be dealing with a water sign here. So Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, but the cards are telling you to, before you walk away, before you give up on your happiness, really listen to your heart and really do your research. So really, this is like the detective. So don't research. Look into it. Investigate it. Listen to both sides of the story. Look at it from every angle, you know, some, it, change your perspective. Look at it from different perspectives before deciding if you're going to walk away. Because this new beginning, this person is this, you're this offer that's here. It could be your happy ending. You're definitely not sure if you want to walk away. And what I'm seeing here is before you do walk away, listen to your heart, connect to your heart, connect to your chakras, connect to your center and really do your research and really listen to both sides or every side. If there's different perspectives, you know every side and, and find out what it is. Actually, I actually want to clarify that devil. Let's see if we can get any details. What is this devil? I don't usually clar <clears throat> clarify in these types, but let's just, there you are. Page of Rons is a six of cups. So it's the person that you're, okay. So whoever this is, whether it's a family member, a love, it's somebody that you have a soul connection with, somebody you might've grown up with, somebody you've known a long time. Um, it, and there you are. And they're communicating to you. So you definitely have a strong bond to this person, but you're exhausted, Leo. So you don't know exactly how to move forward. Um, you're just tired. You just, you just, I just get the sense like you just want to walk away. But the cards are telling you not to give up. They're telling you to keep going. So, oh, let's throw those. So let's see what else the cards have to say to you. There's always free will and it's always going to be different, but let's get your surrender. What is Leo? Sorry that the cards are so messy. Um, I hope you can see them on here. Let's lay them out a bit better for you. Sometimes I don't lay them out the cleanest or the smoothest. 
All right, so let's get your surrender. What does Leo have to surrender to to help them in this decision? This Because they're definitely in decision here. And they're definitely exhausted. So what does Leo have to surrender to to remove this block? What do they have to surrender to? Please show us a card. Give us a message that would benefit Leo. There it is. Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. So yeah, if you want to walk away from the fighting and the arguing, silence is a choice. <laughs> okay. Let's get your lesson card, your soul journey card. So what's the soul lesson for Leo here? So, abundance. I'm a limited being, a limitless being, sorry, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Don't ever forget it. You're a Leo, you know? You guys are the most confident of those zodiacs. You know, that for some reason, you're uh, you're definitely tied to this person. You, whether this person's holding you back or you're holding them back, I'm not sure, but it's definitely a bound. You're bound. You're bound to this person. So, energy oracle cards. What do you want to say to Leo? What message do you have? What would benefit them and help them make up their mind because they're feeling indecisive? Whoa. The thinking woman, card number 47. I think another one went flying there. Hold on. It did indeed. So we have two mess. Oh, there you are. This is not a message. This is just letting us know. There you are. It's going to take a lot of strength and a lot of courage for you, Leo. But you can do it. Okay. So if you've been here before, you know this. If you don't, you're going to find out with the Oracle cards, this particular deck, the message is in the book. I always believe that's how it's meant to be received. So let's give you your message. So the thinking woman. Okay, so you're ready to lead you to a higher understanding. This woman could be a friend who helps you express and understand your feelings, or she could be a teacher brought to your life at this time to take you in a new direction. This could also be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. Or, like the thinking man, it could represent a side to yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. If so, find your voice and let your wisdom shine. All right, and card number 50. So this amazing angel brings news that this is a time of increasing power for you. It's not the time to be passive or submissive, but speak your truth and take action on your own behalf. You are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny for the power that comes from within reaches out to the universe and beyond. Inner strength and unlimited resourcefulness flow through you at this time, helping you to create the real results. Call upon this wonderful angel and on your own inner resourcefulness, to bring you the focus and resolve to do what's necessary to make your dreams a reality. Okay, I like that. So let's see what my cards have to say. What advice do you guys have for Leo? What advice? Okay. Okay. Oh, stop dwelling on the past. It's time to forgive and move on. So sometimes you just got to let it go. So let's see what else the cards want to say to you. Is there anything else that you want to say to Leo, please? Anything else you need to know? Any other messages you have for them? What do you want to say? What else we got for Leo, please? Show us the message. What other cards you want to say? The Five of Pentacles. Whoa. Okay, so the Empress, the Five of Swords again, and the Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, you to, there is a new beginning here. Yeah, we see this new beginning. So whether it's with this old person or with this new person, it's telling you to just squash the past, like just forgive and move on. I know that you're feeling left out. You're feeling a little wounded. You're feeling exhausted. You're feeling cold. You're feeling bitter. I get it. But sometimes for your benefit, it's best to just squish it, just move on from it. Whatever it was, it's in the past. Because you're in empress mode here, Leo. This is an abundant new beginning. Like the cards are telling you not to walk away from whatever this situation is. They really are. They're telling you to squish that in the butt, whatever it was, and stop feeling like that. And you have the ability to do that because this is an abundant new beginning. It could be everything. But there's some kind of bond here. There's something that's holding you back. You got to release that. All right. So, Leo, that's what I have for you. Let's get your... Do you want me to see what you do? Okay, let's see what you do. I usually don't, but for some reason I want to. Okay, so what does Leo decide to do? Of course, there's always free will here, Leo. But can you tell us what, uh, what does Leo do? 
Talk to us. What does Leo do here? You want to tell us? Because I know it's not, I don't normally do them in the messages, but for some reason, I'm curious and I want to. <laughs> so the Four of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, Yeah, see, it's it's telling you um, to you're 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 still in this mode, <laughs> so you're still thinking about it. You haven't decided, Leo. You're still the offer's here, and we keep having this hand like there's this hand out with you. This offer is here, and you just don't know. You're feeling wounded, but it could be that's right in the center. So again, you have gotta nip it in the butt. It doesn't really say what you're gonna do. It's just saying again. This is, could be something spectacular if you can move on from the past. So really, it's up to you. There's no uh, getting, you know, listen to your heart. Follow your heart because your heart never lies. It really never does. Okay, so let's see what the yes or no question is for you, Leo. I hope that that resonates and I hope that helps you. Uh, what message do you have for Leo? Yes or no? What's the answer, please? Yes or no? What do you got for Leo, please? There it is. The answer is no. So thank you so much for watching, Leo. I appreciate it. Best of luck.